What is going on guys? Super quick Torment and Demons guide. I'll try and keep this under three minutes. Essentially, you want to bring in two different combat styles. We got a Bando setup with an Arc Light into a Bofa swap. You can also use a Blowpipe, or if you want to use Mage, you can also use Demon Bane spells. Essentially, whatever is best in slot in your bank, bring that. And then we want to head on over to the Tears of Guthix teleport with the Games Necklace, and then head east to this little climb up. And for our inventory setup, we got a Divine Super Combat, a Divine Ranging Pot, some Prayer Pots, some cheap food, a Teleport Out, and then a Sapphire Lantern. And then once we get up here, we want to communicate with one of these light creatures and enter into the chasm. Now we're going to head south. Climb through the opening. And here we go. Every single one of these paths is going to lead off to a different tormented demon. So if you want to just pick whichever path you want, totally up to you. I personally like going down this path and I'll show you guys my spot. All right, two people already here, so we're gonna hop. All right, we found an empty world. We're gonna head on in, throw on our melee gear and pot up. And yeah, so these guys are gonna have three different attack styles. We can see here it's doing its mage attack style and it's gonna have overhead prayers as well. It's going to swap out its overhead prayers every 25% HP. So just pay attention to whenever it swaps and put onto your other gear setup. There is the swap, so we'll throw on our range setup and put on rigor. And it's only going to have one special attack. Essentially, it's going to cast this root on you, which will temporarily turn off your run energy. You just want to step to the side and dodge out on both of those different fire blasts. And it's also going to change its attack style right after that. So make sure to swap out your prayer to whatever it's doing next. And right here, we can see it's doing its range uh, attack style. It's essentially just throwing out this little banana at you. Looks kind of funky, but uh, yeah, it's going to have range, mage, and melee. They're all pretty easy to spot out. And uh, here we go, we gotta swap into our melee gear setup as it's swapped out its overheads. Ooh, no way, Waffles just got the Tormented Synapse in the clan chat as well, congrats to him. That is massive. There's the root, we step to the side, it's gonna swap to its next attack style. Another thing you can notice is that when it's on melee, it's going to step towards you. So if you are ranging it away from uh, yourself and you notice it stepping towards you, you can always, al almost always uh, predict that it's going to be melee. Now we're going to swap to our range setup and finish it off here. And that's essentially all you really need to know about Tormented Demons. Swap out your attack style whenever you need to, and then do your overhead prayers accordingly to whatever they're attacking you with. But yeah, I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace out.